like I like those characters. Those are, those are some good characters. Those are some nice looking characters. Okay. Uh, I thought you were gonna complain for a second. Why? Why? I don't always have to complain, slow. Well, there's no, uh, you know. I know there Congo isn't. Saga you made it very clear that doesn't have to happen. I'm just glad that you're now on the trainer team. I'm, I'm not for it. Okay. Well, but I've accepted it. Prodigy going Palutena <laughs> this time instead of Yoshi. I appreciate that. It makes me feel a lot better. Oh yeah, because why don't you like Yoshi? I, you know, I, it would take too long. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> Prodigy having a little bit of trouble staying on the on the stage. The uh, Cola. Yeah, Prodigy's just kind of like getting random hits. The Cole is keeping advantage for a really long time, but that's really, I mean, all you need is random hits and then one kill move. So, if it works, it works. Here comes the Cloud, though. Okay, here we go. Money time. He's got his own saga, finally. <laughs> Back air. Cole's Cloud, he basically co mates his character with Roy. So, but, I mean, so far. Prodigy's Palutena is kind of doing work. Yeah, it's a little bit of a difficult matchup. Oh, that move should definitely kill earlier, like you were saying. Yes, I right? totally agree, yes! Mm -hmm. Yep. 90% is the threshold that I think you should kill at. I heavily disagree. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Slev? You know, you, you haven't exactly been on my side tonight. What's going on, man? I'm a guy who doesn't like to think about kills until triple digits, unless you get some crazy reads and stuff like that. Oh! The Flare Blade at the ledge. Air Dodge not going to do it for Cola. And Prodigy is kind of in control here. Here's the Roy Ditto, though. Here's Roy Ditto's. You got to have it. It's a person who probably like actually mains this character. So. Yeah. Prodigy, though. Looking all nice. He, all he needs is a little bit of percent, and then he's got the Mario. So if anything that he can do here is gravy. Okay. Eftil out of shield. I like the use of falling up air. It just starts so many combos. Boy. Mm -hmm. Even getting a platform extension, Prodigy putting a good amount of damage on Nicola. These cross up back airs have to apply a lot of shield pressure. There's the up tilt, strong up tilt gonna do it. And here comes the Mario. Nicola's gotta be super careful. He's right at that right percent where you can start to get those firms into the forward air. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for the uh, last hit of up for the double edge dance, gonna make sure Party actually is in the correct percent to get combo food. And he's super red that uh, that roll in there. Great coverage from Prodigy. Cola kind of in control though. Even, even though the Mario has come out and he's had a decent amount of percent put on him, he's definitely been center stage most of this match. At least between the Mario and the Roy. <laughs> There's the back airs coming out. Up smash, counter, oh, that's counter? it! Yeah, that is strong. Needed to just charge a little bit longer. It's hard to react to, though. Great yeah. stuff from Cola throwing that out there. Getting pretty precise with the timing as well. So I'm not expecting, expecting any uh, change in characters. No, not at all. All right. I don't know. That was weird. What? What happened? Nothing. Okay. Uh, but we have our character <laughs> selects. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. It's exactly the same. Yeah, Wait, the again. order is different first. I'm sorry, Cloud instead of Snake. Oh, yeah. Go! I mean, it's a much better matchup, I would assume. Snake Palace is hard, especially when you're not a Snake main. Yeah, that's that's. You don't, you don't want to, like, give up a character that could potentially do some work early on just because of a bad matchup or a matchup that you're not familiar with. That's true. So far, Prodigy's Palutena is nice, dude. He air dodged. Yep, that's gonna be the forward That's the stock, probably. It's another air dodge. Should yeah, be able to make it back. Edge guard. That's all he needs to do. Is he's just gotta wait for that extra option. Okay. Yep. Oh, even the neutral air dodge still dropping too low. And Cola rolling his eyes a little bit. Frustrated with uh, how low he did there. Thought he was gonna be fine. There's the nares. Here we go. Man, you might need to start Roy against Palutena. I don't think he'll have a chance if this keeps going the way it is. Well, I mean, there would be a game three. Assuming that, oh yeah, you're right. Cola won game one. Yeah, Cola won game one. 
All right, a couple of pops. Jab, jab at the ledge. I would have liked to just see a teleport on stage right there, just because Cola had committed so hard to, the, to setting up that trap at the ledge. Mm -hmm. Might as well. Just dash attack sending. Prodigy off stage. Cola setting up the ledge trap again. There the up smashes. Get up attack. Not gonna get punished too hard. I mean, get sent off stage, but still alive. All yeah. that matters is that Prodigy keeps the stock. Yeah, dash attack sending Prodigy far off stage once again. Covering high with the teleport puts Prodigy center stage. You can see a down throw, up tilt. That's Easy that piece. Stock. Yeah, man. There's a jab back air coming up for Prodigy. Not enough to take that snake stock. Yeah. Landing the C4. You know, it's 20%. He drops shield right at the last second. I don't know if he's trying to parry or not, but he definitely tried to do something. This will be the up B. Now it's the Roy Ditto again. This is what we saw last time. And still, Cola was able to bring it back. They're just swinging on each other, dude. The scrambles are just aggressive. No one's backing off. I mean, that's the best thing about Roy Dittos. Everyone's swinging like madmen. Just like last time, Cola is swinging super hard, and he's coming up on top. That's really what matters. Right now, he's in disadvantage. Can Prodigy keep him there? That's the question. Okay, a lot of shield pressure. We could someone see someone going for a shield break. Good parry. Uh oh. He fell right out of that dancing blade, and suddenly this is being this is like way way harder for Cola than it was last time. He's gotta be able to get rid of the stock counter. Not gonna find his connection. Oh, sour spot. F till very unfortunate for Cola. Baits him with the up air, and then just reads that jump with the jump back air. Perfect stuff from Cola. See if he can replicate what happened last game. Take that Mario into the blast zone again. Okay, double edge dance setting him up high. Looking for those up airs. Is it double edge dance and not dancing blade? It is double edge dance. Roy's is double edge dance. Okay. I thought they were the same thing. You would think so, young slep. But are they not? They are not. But like as a concept, right? I mean, like let's yeah. step let's step back from traditional naming conventions for a moment. If you saw both of those moves in a vacuum, would you say that they're the same move? They have to have some sort of Talk difference to in, that, in melee. What's Crumbs and Lucina's called? The, the, their names are the same as their their echoes. Oh, so Crom's is double edge dance. Crom's is double edge dance. Yeah. Uh huh. And then we see his dancing. But I'm just saying, if you blade. saw the, the dancing back blade, but Crom's up B isn't called fire uppercut. <laughs> oh, Crom is just an abomination. <laughs> <laughs> but if you saw all of those moves in a vacuum on each of those characters, would you not say that they're the same? You keep saying move? that word vacuum. Do you know what a vacuum is? I know what a vacuum is, but I don't not think the, you know the, what a vacuum not is. Not the object that you clean your home with, but the concept of like. No extraneous yeah. factors. Yes. So if you, you have one of those? What? <laughs> In my brain? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, anyway. Yeah, they vacuum. have two different names. I have a Dyson, okay? <laughs> oh, flipped them? Up. Oh! Yo, oh. He, he, okay. <laughs> that was dangerous. Yo, the read on the spot dodge, and he's able to take that stock, that's huge. That Palutena has been doing everything with Prodigy so far. And in Squad Strikes, it takes a little bit longer for the next character to come out than it would in a normal match. It actually gives Cloud more time to charge limit. Yeah, it's kind of nuts. Well, his Roy is out. Or sorry, Prodigy's Roy is out. Roy's been solid, but this is just, Cole is all over him now. Okay, dash back. Oh man, more cross slash, more cross slash! Oh, okay. Oh, wow, he just tried to run up and do it. Yeah. I mean, you only get really one, maybe two limits. Oh, as far as he wasn't Ooh. trying to fish for the down air, but that's why he was... Oh, wow, that Mario came in super quick! <laughs> yeah, that was fast. I was not expecting that. Is there something like, is there a consistency to it? Is it dependent on the character? Like, I think it's like how much loading the character needs to do. Like, cause that took a long time for Snake to come out. 
I think it's because Snake. The game reads Snake has two characters. I think Akita is, is one character. Uh, yeah, it has to do with like the way the, the character is programmed. You're bugging. I, I, I am most certainly not, sir. <laughs> 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 Alright, man. Cola is super in control. Prodigy's Mario is on its last legs here. 79% on him. He's putting Cola in disadvantage with Snake. This Snake is definitely one of those characters that you can capitalize on if they're disadvantaged well. That's true, but Prodigy has a bit of a hill to climb. Not only does he have to overcome Snake, but he has to overcome the final boss, Roy. Yeah, that's the big one, right? Oh, what? Man, the, all these stray ex explosions are, you know, continuing to add damage onto Prodigy. I don't even think he might. He may get to Roy. Yeah, I don't think so. I, it, all it takes is a little bit more percent of them to grab, right? That's right, forty-one percent. We're almost there. Maybe a couple of. Oh, okay. Off the top, damn. Yeah. Oh, is, snake is no joke. That's right. The snake man. Cloud was the MVP of that set. It overcame Palutena in the first set, in yeah. the first game. It did mad work in game three. The cloud. Cloud. Yeah. Cloud hype. He, okay. he adds the cloud height. So we got Cola sticking around. He's playing against Shutone. Okay, Sun Sister Shutone. So let's see. We're probably going to get a Richter. We're getting Olimar. And who would the third one be? He played K. Rool in the. Uh, in the, uh, the. What's it called? In the what? 